Kama people want to take the vaccine here. This is the toothbrush. It's called Mokaka. This is what our grandfathers used and they left him wrong. And that's how he did. He brush your teeth. None of that. No injuries. You see? Got Mokaka. Or just uh, by the way. So this. This now is the. Is the phobia I was coming for. This one. This one is the hephobia I was coming for. Huh? Just like that. And it comes down. Just like that. No worry. Just like that. Just like that, my people. You see? So this is a good vaccination. It's antibiotic, you know. So this is what our grandfathers used. <laughs> and I will go to shrine and tell I will also be showing you the shrine. So some of medicine were attributed with the shrines, you know. Because the chief priest could come and tell you go and take this one for for your cheeks when the when the end outbreak of maybe people, sickness or animals and everything. People were seeking information from the um, chief priest. Then chief priest will treat for three three days, then he will come with the hands. So some of these were from traditional healers. They dreamed you know, they were being shown in dreams. Go and do this, do this and do this. Others were just receiving blessing from the shrines. So the chief priest could tell them, go and collect this one, I told cure this thing. So, I don't know whether this one was being given by the chief priest at the shrine or... I don't have that story, but I've been doing a documentary about those, this thing. This one, I think it is now, what day? You know? So this is a type of, I don't know it's called phobia or phobia, man. You will tell me, man. Is it phobia or phobia? Phobia or phobia, you know? Huh? And you also make sure you don't damage, man. You don't waste. Uh, it was also a device to not put to waste this thing. Because someone else may come and take. So it was a blessing from there. It was a blessing, you know. Take what, take what is enough for you. Never waste. Because tomorrow someone may come. Tomorrow someone may come and collect, you see. So take what is enough for you only. <laughs> So, <laughs> my phone probably know now. My phone, I've just pressed it somewhere. And a stone, I just put a stone somewhere. But I will be turning it, I will show you where the stone it is holding my, my cover. So, this is a phobia. And we are trained not to be wasteful of this. This is a vaccine, you know. I don't know the story behind it, man. But it is traditionally proven, not scientifically proven. But it is effective. Our grandmother and grandfather used this one to treat Newcastle. If you mix with another aloe vera, there's aloe vera somewhere I'm taking you there, uh, which was planted by grand my grandfather, my grandfather. I see it's the Second World War, 1945, is when that aloe vera was being planted there by my grandfather. And he did not plant it at our homestead because uh, he said it is poisonous to the people, maybe it may be poisonous to the people, but when it comes to a chicken, it's good. So he advised people not to take that aloe vera. It's specifically for the chicken or the animals, or even also the goats, but mainly was for the chicken. I don't know, he said that to scare us to be using because it's aloe vera, people like aloe vera, they want this, it also is damaged. So what the, the story given that he said, not safe for human consumption, not safe. That's what he said. So that's the will he said. That aloe vera no one should uproot it. It should be remain there as a wild a wild bear. So it's at the land, not at the homestead. <laughs> it's at the land. Nobody nobody cares about nobody weeds about it, nobody does whatever. But it's there. But it cures, it's effective, man. If you give it to the you give to the to the chicks. So this one in our language it's called in Dao. Dao. It's called in Dao. But we have two types of Dao. This is the second type. Which I'm not uh, confused with. But I won't be asking. You know? I won't be asking. You know? People now are scared with the camera. Some people don't want to give information. You know, Because they don't know why. Why are you taking that information? Why are you taking it? And where are you taking it? You know? That's the problem. But when they will get used by the camera. And be willing. And be so asking, asking people. I'll be letting you know. So I want to vaccinate my chicks there. 
So, you know, Newcastle, you are told to vaccinate, I don't know, one week or two weeks. But this one, you can vaccinate chicken at which at any hand. No limit, at any hand. So, this is a vaccination. So, this is the stone which was holding the business is over here. This is the stone which was holding my holding my phone. So, my people, this is Africa, this is Kenya. We are at Machakos County, this one, county number 016, you know. And this is Kenya and this is Africa, and this is Africa. So, if you want good time, no big forest here, you want good time here, just be alone, you talk to yourself, you meditate yourself. This place, there's no people you'll be meeting. There is a big land there, up there, land, this is another land, no people. People are scattered. So, you can come here and you'll meditate. You can also help your date here, man. You can propose here. Huh? So nice, man. Welcome to Africa and time. See how Africa is. This is Africa. This is part of Africa, man. Kenya, East Africa. And your boy here, Mbithi Baraka. Mbithi Baraka. Taking Paxin to my chicken. Taking traditional Paxin. Traditionally proven, not scientifically proven. Thank you, my people. Have a nice day. A nice morning. I'll be taking you to our river then. And I will also be enjoying the video. And so now we mix it. And I give it to my chicken. Busy day. Thank you, my people. So, my people, today I'm exhausted. Man. Content after content. So I want to go and see aloe vera. You see our bushes here? Our bushes here. See? See how it looks like, man. See? See, man. <laughs> huh? Very nice. Huh? This is Africa, eh? Nairobi. Not Nairobi. Machakos, Kenya. East Africa, eh? So, I'm looking for aloe vera. Which my grandfather, my grandfather planted many years, many years ago. Second World War, it is was Second World War. It's when he planted, and because they are wild, they have nobody waters, nobody is well. So they are here at the bush here, and I don't know the other variety, but they are here aloe vera. Here, man. You see, these are aloe vera. My grandfather planted them. So I don't know the name of this aloe vera. I'll be using leaf and the fire to know about it. Oh, so you see, aloe vera. And the other somewhere I don't know where. There are many here. Oh, someone uprooted. Maybe someone should be uprooted. The more they are, there we are whole here. My grandfather in the year 1945, Second World War. Is when he planted this aloe vera. Nobody takes care of them, it's only natural. So God all takes them care of. And the advice that is not safe for human consumption. Not safe for human consumption, you know. Hey, oh, they with that, man. They with that. Yeah? Not only because of drought or what, man. Okay, <laughs> guys. <laughs> I'm just lucky, you know. Have you had uh, killing two birds? With one stone, guys. This is a shop. Soap. Our our forefathers used this one as a soap. This one, this one as a soap for washing their clothes at that time. So it's like my grandfather also planted this one. This one I don't know about it. This one, but I will be using a leaf and a divide this one. It's like he planted, man. You see? I also there others there. Other one is here. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. I was wondering. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, man. A lot. I don't know if it's one parade or not one parade, man. Hey, just see. See here. Yeah. Yeah. See. I don't know whether it's the same parade or you planted. Huh? See also. This one is another soap here. I don't know whether you can see it. Oh, no, man. You see now, prone the camera, man. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This one. It's also a soap. <laughs> So it's like our grandfather, and the other way there he planted. So it's like my grandfather was planting soap and aloe vera. And it's like uh, there are other pri many varieties here. 
which I was not aware of, man. Hey, see you after coming. And he's no, no more. Our grandfather is no more. So I don't know which one is safe or... <laughs> but he said, he said, uh, it's not, it's not, it's not, he said it's not good uh, for consumption, for human consumption. But that one looks like, this one is like a different variety and this one is a different variety, man. It's like he was, he was planting, hmm? you see, this one is, is different from this one. You can see my people. It's like this one is, they are two way different, you know. Oh, it already been withered because of rain, I don't know. So you see this one is a soap. And the other is also a soap. So it's like my grandfather okay, planted this one here for that purpose. So let me take this one. After reaching home, I'll use a, a leaf and a divide and see whether they have they share the same name or it's the same thing. So I'm not carrying the name of it, it's just a little of it. Huh? So you see this is bush. So this is also called the mokaka and you know. It's bearing fruits. See? Only two weeks and we'll be enjoying. And the season is only the rain season is when you get these fruits. So at the, at the if you come here at dry dry season, you get no fruit. So this one is only one month that bears fruit. Your boy be the barak. Aroifera. <laughs> so this is antibiotic. Yeah? A treatment for Newcastle. Newcastle. It's like these things are way different, man. So, there's one thing I've learned here. It's like my grandfather was planting them. Uh, was planting. And the other one is different. Hey, people. And I was not taught this. You know, no, people. You see? I was taught, sorry. I was taught my grandfather planted this thing. 1945. And I come to note that every area has a different uh, variety of aloe vera. Because there's other one there which is also different. I'll be taking one one and you tell me, man. Huh? But one thing he advised, maybe he knew, he knew people will come and be told aloe vera trees and people will come hey, and use them. So he said they are not safe. Okay, they are not safe. So there was a reason why he said they are not safe. But I know here we have safe one here. I know that one for sure. But because at that time you knew the people were not educated, so <laughs> and they could mix this thing. Yeah. So then it became a poison. Hey, my grandfather, my grandfather, my grandfather, man. And give you honor wherever you are, man. Wherever you are, man, you did it good. My grandfather. So it's like you have in three varieties here. This one, two, and three. This one is the, this one. This one is way different. You know, and this one is uh, same uh, close to this one. But if you look through this dot, is they are near. The dot is they are far, you see. But this one, they are so close. You know. So, that's very nice, man. That's very nice. My grandfather, man. Wherever you are, we are at his land. And you get the people who are fighting for the land, man. And you don't, you don't want to produce. Huh? You just want to sell the land. Huh? <laughs> hey, and our grandfather never sold this land, man. So my people, I'm in a process of making now the vaccine for my chicks, yeah? So. So guys, I'm in a process of making my vaccine now. So I don't have a camera holder, so I have a tree here. Which I will also be doing a documentary of that tree and tell you the uses, man. I have a good job. Uh, I've, I've get someone who was helping me in the farm and uh, we tried to we tried to get some, we tried to explain me to some plants in a locally. So, but I will do them in the national and tell you the botanical names. So, without, without a further ado, man. Uh, uh, now, 
Now, now we are in the process of making one. Uh, making this aloe vera. You see this? See this? Now, this thing, no? This is where we mix it. So now, uh, I have a tree and the fire at my pond. And it's telling me this is called soft aloe. Soft aloe. Together with this one. So you saw the same, though I don't know. You saw the also the same. Okay, maybe you, you can also... You can also take a take a photo, you screen, you screenshot, and then you see and you tell me what type of this. Um, but I was told that my grandfather and the first that not one to consume this one, so it's not safe for consumption. It was good for consumption of, of um, the hands. This is how we, we dip it here. We dip it there, there, like that. So this is a vaccine against Newcastle and other main diseases. This is how our grandparents that time used to treat, treat uh, so it is, not, it is not scientifically proven, but traditionally proven. It is effective, guys. It is effective. It is effective. You know that uh, I to try to lie to the people or, yes, or challenge me. So this one they are said it's called true aroy. Oh aroy fera, this one. So it is different from that one. So it's like my grandfather planted them differently. Because uh, when I went to the farm, there were three areas I corrected this aloe vera and there's another thing there for washing the cloths, cloths or even the bathing so it's like my grandfather was planting those years those years because 1945 it was a colonial era and maybe you know he was a boy he was like 30 years that time he was like 30 years 25 years somewhere there but you know in Africa they were married at 19 or 15 years so he was already married 1945, first, my first aunt was Dave Brown. Another one followed, he went to fight uh, many years. I don't know Obama, I don't know where. Then when he came back in 1950, you know, 56 somewhere, is when now he bought, um, uh, my father was born in 1962, you know, that's area. Let's see that. Let me leave that story. You know. It's like now I'm the father. I planted this for Mendicino. And nobody take care of them. He had them juggle at the bush. He take care of this himself. It's like he lost to someone. I went there somewhere and withered, you know. So you see. So this is what we do. We send it here for, for our chicken. Yeah? And you don't have to leave one behind because of the children or something. Yeah? So make sure you use all of everything you take from the farm. Use a lot. So don't ask me about the ratio here. Yeah? I don't know about the ratio. It's about traditional here. So it's not about the ratio. I mean, don't ask me this ratio, you put this ratio. So here is guesswork, guys. Here we are guessing work. Uh, we are doing guesswork, but it's a good vaccine, guys. It's a good vaccine for the chicken. So this one now is called milk bush. That's the one now. <laughs> I will call it for beer. It's a type of milk bush, you know. This one. So I will also be going uh, and looking at the scientific area scientific use of this. So I, as I show you the traditional part, I also be doing scientific and now how it does. Man. So I'll do about this for aloe vera and this one. I'll be doing those things when, when in town because I will not be having content here. You, really, you know here there is a lot of content showing you everything I do. Cooking in Gideri, cooking in Ugar, everything. But when in town, I may lack many contents in the music, job and other things like that. So I will now give you scientific of this one. But this is traditionally how they used. And you have now to take care of your eyes. Yeah? Because if this enters to your eyes, it's not safe. This one is not safe if it enters to your eyes. You have to look uh, for a mother who is breastfeeding. So you breastfeed. It is not breastfeeding, but the milk. Yeah, it is skewered by the milk of a breast, of a woman. So you have to go looking. You have to be friendly with the women here around. So that they can milk or milk and put to your eye. That's the cure. That's the traditional cure. You don't go if you, if you, <laughs> you don't go to hospital, you know. And it's, that's all. And that's what it should be. And it was effective, you know. Even now, today here we have a snake uh, like spitting cobra. If you are being spit, you know, like that means you go blind. You go and look for breastfeeding mothers. Uh, the milk there you put and everything is good. So now this is how we do it. I will not. Uh, I will not add more. Only, only a bit, a bit here. So, this is what happens here. 
is content and it's also treated treating for my ticks here you see so this is on a process of putting a traditional herb for chicken traditional herb and this one cures everything not new castro small fox everything is being treated by this one so i don't know about aloe vera or this one which, which treats chicken and fox but one does that so there are mixtures of there are other people mix a lot of it which will treat those treat everything so also this one this tree also this tree is also mix up they mix slow of it it's good for coffee and things like that you see that's all that's the business guys that is the business that's the business now and you know sometimes it's bitter so my chicken may not uh, <laughs> may not agree agree man so may not agree to drink this one but now this one is safe now so this one is my traditional half for curing kitchen but this one concussion this is now it can chew a new customer but the smallpox i don't know there are some mixers oh oh this is attacking this one. guys so here is where we press water for the chicken so you know this is the hub now i'm going to take corn there so that the chicken may come may fall and come and drink man. so they will get in uh something good from them from that there you see These are my cons, man. I will be making flour from it and then go to town and have something, man. You see? You have something here remaining. I have something. This is mine. So, mine. So, I will be enjoying at town. So, I want my chicken to have something here. So, you see, I have some maize here. I have some maize, man. I have some maize. Eh. I'm coming from Gala. This is Gala, the store. See? So this is corn. So, I want to get some chicken here. This is how you call them. my chicks are enjoying man my chicks are enjoying my chicks are having something there and i vaccinated them yesterday against newcastle you see i vaccinated them hmm? having a share that's nice you can hear the birds guys you can hear the birds they are tagging, they want to come here and up a share. 